Hi. How are you doing tonight? I'm feeling a little bit better tonight. Probably because I had a beer with dinner. But, uh, no, it was a nice night. The kids, we, we all got home together. The weather today was garbage, but we all made it home together. We were all, to, you know, my kids didn't didn't have anything else to do, so we just we sat around together on the couch. Nice. And also, it occurs to me that the today is January 31st, which means I've completed one month of these daily videos that I kind of started on a whim this year. And doing the math, looking back, it's kind of a milestone because I've managed to make more videos this month than all the videos I made when I started this YouTube channel. Basically, when YouTube channels were a thing. Uh, I first started making YouTube videos back in 2006. Yeah. When I was uh, a senior in college. I had just come back from Japan. I was ready to finish my degree. And Mako and I were dating, but she lived in Japan. I lived in America. And I wanted to... I wanted her to be able to see me sometimes. I mean... Of course, we did We did a lot of video chats. We did almost daily video chats, which, of course, was fine. But I wanted to, like... I was already... Blog, I was blogging already at this point, but I wanted to experiment a little bit by making videos. So I made short videos where I talked to the camera. Sometimes I would make stunt videos where I'd film myself cooking, or I'd go for a walk around the park and record narration over it. Again, I used to, like, edit these things. Not that they were any particularly special, but... I put some work into them, and they were goofy, they were silly, probably half of them now have no audio, because if I wanted to put a song in there, I just put a song in there, I didn't care, and at that point, I don't think YouTube cared, so they sense care, so, you know, it was just a fun thing I did for about a year and a half, you know, it really, it slowed to a crawl and basically stopped once I graduated, once I came to Japan, once I was working every day and married, I didn't really have time to talk to a camera every night. And I didn't really know what to talk about, to be honest. I kind of was intimidated at my new job. So, looking back, I feel like I really managed to do something here. I, I had an idea. I thought about it. I thought, what if I tried making videos again? Even just simple videos where I talked to the camera. And I did it. I've done it for an entire month. I found time every day. I think that's pretty good. You know, I'm someone who has a lot of trouble starting things. I'm someone who has a lot of trouble following through on things. I've got lots of ideas written down that I thought would be a story, that I thought would be a fi you know, fiction. I thought would be a fun adventure, a comedy skit. All these ideas that I would just I'd start with. And never fall through on and just put them away. And then, of course, there's the bigger things going on with me right now. You know, things I want to change about myself. Things where I'm not sure where to begin. You know? Gender. My name. My job. Writing. My goddamn hair. My hair. I hate my hair. I've had the same haircut for 40 years. You know, I, I have all these things that I want. I want to do things. I have ideas of what I'd like to do. But I don't know where to begin. And I get paralyzed by choice. I get paralyzed. I procrastinate. And then nothing happens. And I'll be honest. You'd be surprised how fast the clock can spin. When you don't do the things you thought you were going to do. Okay, I definitely thought when I moved to Japan in 2007, I thought I was going to have a lot done. You know, I thought I was going to come to Japan and start teaching and that would be a springboard to something else. Not really. I mean, the writing thing happened. I did not expect the writing thing to happen. And I'm very grateful that I have people who like what I write. But, you know, we're coming up on 10 years of me writing things for money. Some small amount of money. What am I doing with that? Not a lot. You know? So, I think it's significant. 
I think it's good. I think it matters that I decided to do something this year, and I started it, and I did something. And, you know, much like the writing, much like the teaching, I don't, I don't know if this is going to go anywhere. Maybe these videos will just go until I stop making them. Maybe it'll be 2019, and then I'll, I'll do one on New Year's Eve, and say goodnight, and that'll be the last one. But however many I do, I did them. I'm here. I'm talking to people. People are watching them far, far away. I know they are. And I see you. And I hear your comments. And I love you. Thank you.